Stevenson defeats Messiah tonight, 20 to 10, here at Mustang Stadium. Glenn Clark with head coach Paul Cantabene. Coach, um, let's run through what you liked, what you didn't like from tonight's performance. Uh, well, I like that we moved the ball on offense a lot. I think we got a lot of touches for a lot of people. Um, I think we did that, and I think we played hard for the most part, uh, which I really like. And uh, you know, we faced off really well, so that's good. That makes life easy on us. When when we're able to do that, so uh, you know, and you know, but I think we still need to play better, you know, especially defensively. I thought we gave up some easy goals in the second half. This is kind of a lack of concentration sometimes in these games. It kind of happens a little bit, uh, but overall, you know, it's a good effort. You know, especially playing Stevens Tech on Friday, so to get an easier game on Wednesday to get ready for that uh, helps. And but uh, you know, we got to play better on Friday for sure if we expect to win that game. Let's talk about you know, you know a thing or two about facing off. So let's talk about your because you're we're gonna chat with Nolan here in a second. The, the strategy for the, the green light, right, for when he wins. Is it always on with him? Is it always any of this, whatever the circumstances, you go ahead and go try to go score a goal? Well, it's not always on, but, um, you know, we have a couple plays that we like to run out of that to, to help us score goals off the faceoff. I think that's really a, a big part of the game. You know, we want to be aggressive with that, and, uh, you know, I take very facing off very seriously, and I think we got two guys that can help us win faceoffs. Obviously, Nolan's a little more offensive-minded, so that helps us, and he's a big kid, so he's kind of tough to stop when you get down that end, but he's also doing a better job but distributing the ball we saw today coming down hitting some guys and that's a big part of it but coming down that alley scoring some big goals for us he did it last week against Eastern scoring you know a, a big goal then he should have had another one to be uh, was this a little smarter uh, he, right Nolan and he would have been got another one there uh, but you know I think that uh, we're continuing to be aggressive in the face I think that's something we have to do and uh, really press other teams about that especially when we get their face off guy on the field they're not always the most strongest defensive guys and so we really want to try to put some pressure on other teams doing that and you know teams are scouting us and ready for that but we're still going to be aggressive with it you mentioned Stevens on Friday night, right? It's a quick turnaround for a really good team um, at a point in the schedule where, you know, typically you're in the throws of conference play. What what do you need to do better on Friday night to get a big win? Well, I think we just got to play better defense overall. You know, I think we'll come to be a little more excited defensively. I think we got to do a much better job of understanding personnel and getting the ball off the ground. You know, we got a couple deflections in there, but I think we'll come ready to play. They'll be excited too. They played tonight, so you know we both know that we played in the Mustang Classic, so we know what it's like to play back to back and get that. We'll get a light practice tomorrow and get ready to go and put our changes in for them, and we'll get ready to go, and it'll be another great night under the lights on Friday. Well, I want to shout out your barber before we finish this because <laughs> I noticed, unlike MC, I noticed right away that you're sporting the new dude tonight. Uh, who do we who do we shout out well, for? Gene, that? my barber up there, you know, up in there in Seven Valleys, Pennsylvania. He's right there, uh, which is excellent. I'm right out, nice old older guy, right out of his house. He gives me a, a great cut and curry every once in a while when he goes there. Curry is listening. Curry really needs a haircut because he's got <laughs> way too much flow going and being a lax bro. Yeah, well, come on, he's, he's in it. They, no, he's got to ride with that. He doesn't. He's got to get a haircut. He looks. He's got to get a haircut. But overall, you know, Gene does a great job for me. Appreciate it, Gene. You always give me a great haircut. Whatever MC says. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. Coach, congratulations on a win. Thanks for coming up and hanging out with us. Thanks a lot.